Heading into the last half an hour of the Sports Max Zone for this Tuesday, English-speaking Caribbean representative Jamaica and the U.S. Virgin Islands produced creditable results at the Pan American Lacrosse Association Pala Sixes Cup, which ended in Kingston on Saturday. Mariah Ramharak recaps a tournament that fielded 15 teams from 10 nations from across the Pan American region. Sixes is an incredibly fast-paced, compact version of lacrosse and it captured the imagination of fans in Kingston last week. Three days of pulsating action culminated with the championship matches at the Michael University College on Saturday. In the women's tournament, Jamaica was forced to withdraw ahead of their fifth place playoff with the USVI due to their lone goalkeeper, Shannon Graham, suffering a heat stroke. It meant they finished last as per tournament rules while clearing the way for the USVI, a team with limited tournament prep, to finish fifth. We are so excited to have this opportunity to play in this tournament. None of our girls had ever played sixes before. We never even had a chance to practice before we got here. And the improvement along the way was absolutely amazing. The heart that our girls and ladies put into this event and to get to be here with all these other teams having this experience has been such a gift. The Haudenosaunee Nation repeated as women's champions after a comfortable 22-11 win over Puerto Rico in the championship match. Coach Tim Bomberry and Captain Bean Minard shared their thoughts on the tournament. Puerto Rico was a, was a pretty pretty tough test there and uh, it, was a good, it was a good championship at the end there. But yeah, we're feeling pretty good, the girls are feeling good. Uh, I'm really happy with their progress and, and uh, how well they're gelling together and, and doing the things that we want them to do. I have an easy time because these girls are my family, they're my sisters. So they, they've been around me for years, so they're used to me, so it's not just a brand new thing to them. So I, I work, it's a, it's a fun job I love having. It's getting the energy going, making sure that me being a vet, I'm teaching the right things coming down and showing what, what it takes to, to put in the hard work to get to where we are today. Wait, hold on, who are the Haudenosaunee? We are a, um, we're, we have our own confederacy. We have, um, it's the Onondaga, Mohawk, Cayuga, Seneca, Tuscarora. We're from Onondaga Nation, which is outside of Syracuse, New York, all the way through Niagara Falls and to Six Nations, which is in Canada. Um, we, 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 we have our matriarch society. Um, lacrosse is our, is, was given to the, uh, was given by the creator as a gift to play for him. Um, it's, and obviously it's in, it's in our, lacrosse is in our ceremonies, it's in our, in our roots. So traditionally, women don't play lacrosse because of the wooden stick. The wooden stick's made from hickory. We give life, so when we are in our periods, we ruin that medicine. That's why we play with plastic sticks, but we don't touch it. All of us don't touch a wooden stick. We stick to our, our traditional culture and we respect it. We just play with a uh, plastic stick, but we still, the game gives us so much um, love and healing and power that we're able to still use it with the plastic sticks. But Haudenosaunee, we're just a, we're a confederacy all around upstate New York and up to Canada. Jamaica fielded two men's teams finishing 5th and 8th respectively, with the USVI ending 6th. But despite not securing a medal, President of the Jamaica Lacrosse Association, Calvert Hutchinson, says he's pleased with the trajectory of the sport in the country. I think development was the winner for us. The fact that we were able to host um, a, a diaspora team along with a local bread team for our males and we end up playing each other um, in one of the, the, the rounds. Um, to see both of our teams going up against each other, all the local bread team um, players and all diaspora players, it was a testament of the development that is taking place on the grounds. And in terms of the ladies, um, we have some of our local bred high school girls who are now studying and playing lacrosse overseas were the top scorers in some of the games and you know I can't thank them enough and my team the coaches for the work that they have done and continue to do and the development is a winner today. Puerto Rico won the men's title after easing by crowd favorite Mexico 22-15 in the decider. We kind of 
just found our rhythm after the first game. Uh, we played a tremendous defensive tournament, um, and by us playing great defense, it kind of opened up our offense and, and really just tied everything together. So I think we just kind of played all around good lacrosse the whole tournament. Sixes is the version of lacrosse that will be contested at the 2028 Olympics and teams from the Caribbean and wider Pan Am region are excited about the possibility of making it to LA. It's great that it's now in the Olympics um, in terms of our chances. I think we just got to get better day by day. Um, you know, we, we got to kind of build off of what we did here this weekend. Um, I think we tied a lot of good things together, but we still have some room for improvement as an organization and building this team going forward. So, um, you know, I think really just using this as a building block um, to build up what we want to get to in the Olympics. But, um, you know, couldn't be happier for these guys today. Hoping to get the financial support so we can start preparing for 2028. Uh, preparation, we need to get our team in place. We need to get them training on a regular basis. And it's going to be the sixes discipline that is there. This event is a springboard for continuous development in that arena so we can prepare ourselves to be victorious at the Olympics in 2028. Our whole mission is to grow the game in the VI and we are looking forward to doing this by starting more clinics, more programs for youth on all three islands and to get ready to build these teams 2028 LA, here we come. Six is done and dusted. What a feat for Jamaica. And you know, I had the opportunity to cover a couple um, lacrosse athletes. Um, in case you missed it, I spoke to the president, Calvert Hutchinson. And I'm really proud of, you know, what this group of athletes have been doing, the organization. And I think they're onto something big. Remember, lacrosse will be in the Olympics in 2028. So I think, you know, they're getting a good feel, getting ready. And if they continue competing like they are right now, it will be good competition come 2028. Yeah, and great that they were able to host a hemispheric tournament here in Kingston, Jamaica. And it, it's quite a nice sport as, as, as a spectator. It is something I would watch because it, 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 is, it displays a lot of skill, yeah. you know, and um, I, I think it's a sport that has potential to grow. Yeah, and, and like so many of the sports, Lance and Mariah, where you have a traditional version that is generally longer, um, you now in lacrosse have the sixes competition that is shorter, that T20. is yeah, <laughs> the T20 style lacrosse. And that made it exciting for the fans as well. I had the opportunity um, to go by the Micah University College on the opening day, I think it was, um, saw a little bit of Panama, the defending men's champions, and they were really good value for money. And everybody was just really into the action and really engaged with what was going on. And it really was a good look. And it will be nice to see um, the sport um, return to Jamaica at such a high level with quality competition again. And, and maybe we'll be fortunate with some Olympic qualifying tournaments and, and matches. Yeah, looking forward to that. Well, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back.